Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome. Um, we are excited to be hosting uh, Dysautonomy International Virtual Wellness um, with Tove uh, Pinar. Um, and she has been gracious enough to um, offer another wellness class. Um, when we first um, started these online trainings, um, excuse me, these online wellness classes earlier um, in the year. So, Tove, we've, we've done a lot of them. They've been very successful. So I'd like to welcome you. Um, Tove is a biokinetic, biokineticist from South Africa who um, is also a dysautonomia patient um, and she has a passion for movement um, and its ability to help with various chronic conditions. Um, she does have a good statement here and it's ex exercise is medicine and our bodies are made to move. So um, I'm excited that we're offering this, this supine um, class for everyone. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, please hold your comments until the end um, and your questions. Um, if you do have any comments or questions that you want to um, put in the chat room, I'll be sure to refer back to those um, at the end of Tove's session today. So welcome, Tove. Thank you. So hi, everyone. I hope everyone can hear me well. Um, on your side, can you hear me fine, Kirsten? Okay, cool. Yes, so yes. We're gonna start with, perfect. So we're going to start with a class. So if everyone can get comfortable, find a nice space where you can lie down and do the exercises. The session that I'm going to go through today is more basic and focused for your basic lying down exercises. But obviously, even though these are easier exercises, if you feel like well, during any of them you get tired or you need to take a break, please do. Drink some water, take a deep breath, whatever you need to do. Do this at your own pace, but we're gonna get started then. So you can lie down on your back with me. So we're gonna start lying down. Get nice and comfortable. You can bend your knees so that your back's nice and flat. What I want you to do is you're gonna put your arms up for me. And I want you to just open and close the hands. So making stars with the hands, open and closed. And while you're doing this nice deep breaths, controlling your breathing, controlling your heart rate, nice open and closed. Okay, from here, I want you to lift those arms overhead and then back up again. So lifting them slowly overhead and back up. Slowly up and back down. Nice deep breaths while you do this. Good, now going back to the first position, you're gonna open and close your hands again for me. Nice deep breaths. Make sure that the rest of your body is nice and relaxed. Open and close your hands. Okay, from here, we're going to alternate hands. So one hand goes back at a time, starting with the right arm. Come back up. Left arm, come back up. Nice deep breaths. Nice, slow and controlled movements. Good. Now, while you're doing this, I want you to open and close the hand that's going down. So making stars with whichever hand is going overhead. Nice deep breaths. Good. From here, I want you to go to back to that first position. From here, we're going to open the arms out to the side. And bring them back in front of you. Five. Back in front. Make sure you've got enough space around you. Good, keep breathing. Good, open and close. Good, now I want you to take those hands and just reach them overhead. Get a nice stretch in and deep breath, stretching those arms up, nice deep breaths. From 
from here, you can relax those arms, put them next to your body. I want you to keep that left leg nice and bent and relaxed. Bring that right leg straight up for me. And what I want you to do is make small circles with that ankle. The leg stays nice and straight. Small circles all the way around with that ankle. Good. Okay, for the next exercise, what I want you to do is keep your stomach nice and tight. Your back is flat against whatever you're lying on. That leg that's up, you're going to take it down slowly and all the way up. So it's a nice active exercise and stretch for that hip joint. Slowly down and all the way up. Keeping that back flat, stomach is tight, nice and slow. If you need to take a break, you're welcome to. We've got five more. Four. Three. Two more. And one. And bend that leg for me. Nice deep breaths. We're going to go onto the left leg. Straighten that left leg, make small circles with that ankle. Nice, keeping that leg nice and strong, small circles. Good, now we keep that tummy nice and tight, keep that back flat, leg goes all the way down and all the way up. Only to where you're comfortable, you don't have to go too far up or too far down. And we've got five more, four, three, two, and last one. And relax that leg for me. Okay, we're going back to that first leg. I want you to straighten it again. Now what we're going to do is just bend at the knee. So bending the knee, straightening that leg up. Squeezing this muscle on the front of your leg. Bend that knee, straighten it out. Good, take a break if you need to. Nice, slow movement. We've got four more. And one more. And relax. Good. We're going to go over to your left leg again. So lifting it up, straightening that knee, and bend. As you straighten that knee, squeeze the top leg muscle, and bend. Straighten. Good. Nice at your own pace. Keep breathing. Got four more, three, two, and one. And relax that leg. Okay, just relaxing now, nice deep breaths, taking a break here. Good. The next one is a stretch. So what I want you to do is you're going to take your left ankle, put it on your right knee. So you're making like a figure four with the leg. You're going to grab the hand, the right leg, and slowly bring towards you. So what I want you to do is feel the stretch at the leg, whichever one is lifted. And pull that towards you and just hold. And relax for me. We're going to change over to the other leg. Okay, lifting that right ankle onto the left leg, pulling behind the knee, pulling towards you. And just breathe.
and relax the knee. Okay, what I want you to do is you're gonna turn over onto your side for me. Get nice and comfortable. Bending those knees, make sure the neck is supported by a pillow or by your arm so that you're not straining the neck. Okay, with those knees bent, you're gonna keep them together, the knees are not moving. With the top arm, you're reaching forward and slowly reaching back. When you get to the back, you're gonna hold for about two seconds and come back forward. So you're reaching back until you feel the stretch. Hold for two seconds and come back. All the way back, hold for two seconds and come back. It's nice opening that chest up, getting some movement in the spine and back. Got four more. Three more. Two more. And last one. On the last one, just hold it there for me for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, I want you to roll over onto your other side. I'm gonna turn around completely so that I'm still facing you. Getting that neck nice and comfortable, keeping those knees bent and together. Reach that top arm all the way back. Hold for two seconds, bring that hand back. All the way back, opening that chest up. And back to the front. Good. Nice deep breaths while you do this. We've got four left. Three more. Last two. And last one. And hold for me on the last one. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. I want you to lie on your back again for me. With those knees, relax the upper body completely. From here, what we're going to do is you're going to keep that tummy nice and tight again. You're going to squeeze your bum, push down through the heels, lift that bum up and back down. Almost like you're rolling the spine up. And it's not about going how high you can go. It's just about lifting up and squeezing the bum. So lift up and back down again. Nice deep breaths, keep squeezing the bum up and slowly down. Good. We've got five more. Four more. Three, two, and one, and relax for me. Okay, now that we've got those bums working, what I want you to do is we're gonna stretch out that hip nicely. With the right leg, you're gonna straighten that leg, bend it up, the knee falls out slowly to the side, comes back to the middle, and down. Lifting that leg up, slowly to the side, back to center and down. This is a nice active stretch for the hip. So it's a good one to do when you wake up in the morning, get some movement in those joints. Slowly up, out to the side, back to center and down. 
Do this at your own pace. Take a break if you need to. Got three more. Two more. And last one. And relax. Repeat that on the other leg. So on the opposite leg, start with the straight leg. Bring it up, out to the side, to the middle, and down. Good, keep that joint moving. Nice and slow and controlled. We've got three more. Two more. And last one. Good, and relax. Okay, rest for me. Catch your breath, take a break. Okay, we're gonna give those legs a nice break. We're gonna go back to the upper body. I want you to start with your arms straight ahead. And you're gonna do basically like a chest press, but obviously with no weight. So you can bring those out to the side and slowly press up. As you come down, I want you to squeeze between your shoulder blades. As you push up, squeeze the chest. Squeeze between the shoulder blades and squeeze all the way up. Good, nice deep breaths. Squeeze all the way up, squeeze all the way back. We've got five more, squeeze all the way up and squeeze all the way down. Four, three, two, and one. Good, and relax for me. Good. Okay, we're gonna go back to the legs. We're gonna do that same thing where you're squeezing the bum and lifting up, and this time I want you to hold. So bend those legs, squeeze that bum, lift up and just hold for me. While you're doing this, make sure you cannot hold your breath, keep breathing, just hold those hips up. For five, four, three, two, one. And now up and down slowly, so relax those hips, push them all the way up. Back down again, all the way up. Back down, all the way up. Good. We've got five more. Four. Three. Two. And one more, and relax. Okay, relax for me. Bringing those arms up again. I want we're gonna work on the back of the arms. So from here, you're gonna keep those hands together, reach back towards your head, and straighten those arms. So reaching back towards your head, straighten those arms. As you straighten those arms, try to squeeze the back of the arms. Squeeze all the way up. Good. What's important with any of these exercises, because we're not using weights, we want to make sure that we're squeezing that muscle as much as possible. We've got five more. Four. 
three, two, last one, and relax. Good. Stretch those arms up overhead for me and just take a deep breath in and out. Good. When you're ready, I want you to go onto your side again. Just slowly roll onto your side so that you can see what I'm doing. Get that neck nice and comfortable. Okay. Same position. I want you to bend those legs. I want that top arm to come here to your body. You're going to stretch it up and all the way down. Stretching up, all the way down. As you straighten that arm, squeeze it at the back, squeeze between the shoulder blades and relax. Nice, slow and controlled movement. Keep that breath nice and steady and take it at your own pace. Good. Good, we're gonna go for six, five, four, make sure you're squeezing that arm, three, two, last one, and relax. Good, you can rest that arm for me. We're gonna stay on this side. The next exercise is for the glutes. What I want you to do is you're going to keep your feet together and slowly lift that top knee up and down. I don't want your hips dipping back. I want your hips staying nice and stable, squeezing the bum, lifting that leg up and down. Good. Nice and slow. Making sure you can feel your bum working. Good. We're going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. On the last one, I want you to hold that leg up and hold for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. You can just relax for me. Hopefully, you felt that bum working. We're going to change over to the other side. So just roll over for me. I'm going to change sides here. And remember, we're starting with that arm first. So taking that arm all the way up and bending it. Get the elbow all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. As you go up, squeeze that arm, squeeze between the shoulder blades and bring it back down. Good, as long as you're feeling that squeeze, I'm happy. Good. Good. Going for 10, 9, 8, squeeze between the shoulder blades, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one and hold. For three, two, one, and relax that arm for me completely. Okay, we're going over to that leg lift. So squeezing the bum, keeping the feet together. Slowly lift that knee up for me and back down. Slowly up, back down. Make sure your hips are staying in line with your spine. Good. 
Squeezing up with the bum as you go up. Good. Good. We've got ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep breathing. Four. Three, two, and then the last one I want you to hold for me for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Good. I want you to just rest now, catch your breath, and relax. Good. Okay, so for the last one, I just want to do a nice stretch for everyone. So there's two ways that you can do this. If you prefer to be on your back, I want you to just stretch up for me and hold. If you feel comfortable to go onto your hands and knees, you're welcome to do that as well. Just going into the child's pose stretch. I want you to just reach forward with those arms, push that bum back, stretching out the spine. Relax your neck and just hold this position for me. From here, I want you to walk your hands to the left hand side, slowly walk your hands over so that you're opening up the right hand side of your body and just hold again. Okay, slowly walk those hands to the opposite side. And relax. Good, you can rest. Drink some water if you need to catch your breath. Good. Thank you, Tove. Right. That was that was wonderful. Pleasure. I'm glad that it was that you enjoyed it. Absolutely. I, I definitely enjoyed it and I'm sure everyone else did as well. This is um, as people are resting and, and hydrating. Uh, this is a great opportunity for them to think of uh, some questions that they might have for you at this time. Um, I know you have a few minutes to uh, answer questions. So actually what I'm going to try and do um, as people are thinking of their questions is to go in and unmute to everyone so that it's easier. Um, sorry, it's just going to take me a second to re remember how to do that. Um, <laughs> the joys of technology. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, Okay, so I think if, if, if anyone has a question, they are able to unmute themselves. Um, if you wanna ask uh, Tove a question directly or if you wanna type one, oh, there's one in the chat room right now. Will this be available to view again somewhere? Yes, this is being recorded and this session will be uploaded to the Dysautonomia International Vimeo uh, Library, which can be found on our website under resources. I'll go ahead and type that into the um, message for you all. Um, and this will be one of the recorded wellness programs that we have been offering over the last few months. It says that only the host can unmute. Ah, okay. So <laughs> how do I do that? Sorry, you guys. Um, Probably a button somewhere. <laughs> and they, uh, da, 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 da. okay, give me one second. Um, go ahead and keep typing your questions in. Yeah, if anyone else has questions so long, you're welcome to type them. I'll answer to the best of my ability. Um, are these suitable for people with EDS? Yes, so definitely. Um, these exercises are suitable for anyone. We often do exercise like this for people that struggle with their heart rate, struggle with any kind of um, autonomic functioning, but also for people who have had surgeries or anything where they are feeling a little bit more affected and their functioning is a little bit lower. 
So these exercises are suitable for anyone. And they're really great exercises that you can do any time of the day, in the morning, in the middle of the day, before you go to bed, whatever you feel works best for you, you can definitely do these. These are not going to cause any harm. They're very basic exercise to help with functionality and also improving your muscle strengthening without causing any harm. So you are able to do that. It's a pleasure. Great, Cooper. Okay, so you can see the see the um, comments. Yeah. I, so, um, thank you, um, Carrie. I know it's all next to the participants' names, so for some reason it's not uh, it's not allowing me. But I'll I'll continue to try. So, why uh, Tove is answering the questions in the chat? Yes. Yes. So, with regards to the proprioception and body awareness question. Um, with regards to that, what we do is a lot of, we work on a lot of balance exercises because I found that balance goes hand in hand with that proprioception. So we'll do something like a star excursion exercise, maybe doing an exercise where you put a bunch of colors on the wall and ask the person to touch the blue color, the green color, something or anything where they are basically using their brain body connection and touching different colors, touching different numbers. Um, you can do like a wall clock exercise. So if the person's standing against their wall, you can ask them to move their hands to 12 o'clock, to three o'clock, to six o'clock, whatever the case is. I find that that works very well. So often using those balance exercises with the proprioception. Um, with regards to doing the exercises every day, you definitely can. Um, for example, with the exercise where we were lifting our leg to the side, it can be very, um, should I say, effective on the glute muscles. So with regards to that, do them as long as you feel you can without becoming too fatigued. And also, those exercises are going to really strengthen. So for example, now if we did 15 in the exercise class, I recommend you do as many as you feel comfortable. If you can only do five, that's more than enough. Do five each week, slowly build up six, seven, and then do it like that. But you can definitely do them every day. Stretching is also very, very effective. Stretching should be done every day, um, but it obviously depends on your time and what you prefer doing. Good, I'm glad that they were still challenging. Just shooting, yeah. So, Toby, if you could repeat the questions back so I can do it for you just so we can capture it on video. On, on, yeah, Perfect. on the recording. Perfect. Do you want to read the next one then? Is that the uh, build leg muscles? What other exercises would you recommend daily to build leg muscles? Um, with regards to the leg muscles, obviously you want to do all of the exercises lying down. So, the one where you did the bum lift is very, very good. Obviously, lifting the leg to the side. Lifting the leg straight up is also very good. Um, I think the most important thing is to be creative with your exercises. If you're doing an exercise and you feel, okay, this works, let me try to challenge it. So I'll show you an example. Let me just get my camera set up again. If you're doing any exercise like this, where your legs are being worked, so obviously lifting them straight up, doing this one is also very good. From here, what you can do is also lift your legs up, holding this position, taking the knees out and back up, which is quite nice, working the bum, working the quads, working the hamstring, slowly going out and back up. That's quite a nice full leg exercise. That's quite a nice one to do. So whatever you find works for you is really, really helpful. Great, thank you. Did okay, you the next one. I might, have, I might have missed the neck pain one. Did you, were, did you answer that one already? Not uh, yet. From Amina, um, I find that most core exercises trigger neck pain with coat hanger pain and stiff neck, even when positioned so the neck is protected. I feel it the next day. How do we work on our core with our neck completely relaxed? Perfect. So what I found with a lot of my patients is that as soon as they're in a position where they're lying down, as soon as they try to activate their core, they immediately do this, which is obviously working those trap muscles, getting that neck nice and tight. So Obviously, you want to avoid that. So obviously, like you said, the first thing is to put that neck in a nice relaxed position and focus on that. Something that I'll say might be very effective is using a heat pack. So one of those wheat bags that you warm up in the microwave is nice to put on your neck while you're doing those exercises. And the other thing that you can do that is very helpful is core activation. So basically what core activation is, is if you are lying down, your core is not your six pack. Those are basically Christmas decorations. Your core is your deeper muscles. So what you want to do is feel between your two hip bones, just inside there, there's a muscle there. 
So if you can squeeze that muscle and tilt your hips slightly up, that's activating the core. So just that small movement is already activating the core. And what we found with a lot of patients is the cores are very weak. And I think with a lot of people with chronic illnesses, it's the same thing. So if you can do something as basic as that, as activating that core, when you're lying down, when you're sitting in front of your computer, when you're walking around, if you can just do that simple core activation, that will make a big difference. So you don't necessarily have to do the exercises that can hurt your neck, but rather just keep that core nice and activated. That should make a big difference. Great. Wonderful. Um, now this next question from Isa. Yes, at the end of our uh, discussion, I will put up a slide that will have the contact information for Tove. Um, the next question, is it okay to do these if you feel joints crunching and crackling when moving into the positions? Yes, I think that's a very, very good and very um, relative question. It's, I can't show you now, obviously you won't hear it on the computer, but my joints, especially my knees, click a lot, especially if I'm standing, go down into a squat or anything. But as long as you don't have any pain, whilst you feel that feeling, it's fine. Often what happens is there's fluid inside the joints, which helps for um, shock absorption, as well as keeping the joint nourished with nutrients and all the oxygen that you need. So sometimes there's just not enough fluid in that joint. Exercise definitely helps because it brings fluid to that joint and gets those joints mobile. But so long as you're not feeling any pain during that movement, it's perfectly fine to continue. As soon as you feel pain, then I would rather change the exercise or do something that doesn't hurt it. But strengthening around that joint with the exercise will also help take pressure off those joints and decrease that crunching or crackling noise that you feel. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, any other questions for Tove? Uh, lots of thank yous coming well, through. That's all the questions so far. So I am going to minimize my um, chat room uh, so I can open up your screen and show everyone your contact information. So Tove, if you could keep your chat open, if someone has um, a question, then you'll be able to see it before I do. So uh, do. you guys should be able to see my screen <laughs> and I'm going to make it so it looks a little bit more professional. So thank you, Tove. Thank you very much um, from South Africa to, to be able to provide such an incredible um, uh, exercise program, one that I really think, I like Isa with her hand, thank you, thank you, um, was just perfect. It was everything that we've been asked to provide. So I do encourage everyone to go into our um, library on our Vimeo page, um, dysautonomiainternational.org. Um, and you would be able to go to our resources and then you'll find our Vimeo library. So um, I would be happy to also email you all after this program and send you that link um, if that would be helpful. Yes, thank you. I think that will help. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it. I see some more questions. Okay. Um, thank you for this class and your YouTube channel. Please, can I say, um, number one, it is not uncommon for POTS patients to also have joint hypermobility. Um, Exercising in general is painful for JHS, but particularly any stretching is painful and causes long lasting pain. What do you suggest? Um, so let me answer the first question. So with regards to stretching, with people with a lot of chronic conditions, it can cause pain. Um, my honest opinion is then you should look at something like active stretching. So active stretching is very similar to your normal stretching where you'll go into a position and hold. But instead of doing that, you'll do like the stretch where we lean back, hold for two seconds and return. Sometimes the muscle can get irritated if you're holding it in that position for too long. So rather do an exercise where you going into the stretch, hold it for one or two seconds and relax. That should cause a lot less pain, but still get stretching into that joint. For the second one, to that end, I have looked at your videos on YouTube and I'm not sure I can manage a lot of them. I struggle to find the beginner videos. Okay, perfect. So thank you for that feedback. I really appreciate it. With regards to my YouTube channel, I'll have a look and make sure that I make a specific um, like folder for the beginners videos and make sure that they're easily accessible. So all the people who do struggle with a lot of them, we can make sure that there's easy, easily accessible beginners videos, as well as obviously on the Dysautonomy International. I'm sure there's a lot of videos there to access as well. Good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Perfect.
It's a pleasure. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you, Tove. Any other questions? Nothing so far. Okay. Well, we can uh, we can go ahead and wrap up. And once again, thank you so much for your uh, the for your time, the generous use of your time. We really appreciate uh, you being part of this program. Um, thank you very much. If anyone has any uh, questions for Tove, she did provide her email address here, um, so that I'm sure she's she's comfortable with you contacting her. Um, I did share the Vimeo recorded uh, link um, in the chat room. So give us a few days, we will upload this session and it will be on our Vim, in our Vimeo library for everyone to have access to whenever they need it. Um, happy Friday to everyone. Um, Tove, any, any, anything else you wanted to say? Um, no, thank you again for obviously, I'm really grateful for this opportunity and it's so nice to be able to help other people with similar conditions. And obviously I know what you guys are going through, so it's a very personal thing for me. So I'm really glad to help and please let me know when you need another class, I'm more than happy to help. Great. Oh, absolutely. I, you can count on it. Thank you, everyone. Have a lovely weekend. Take care. Bye. Bye.